Okay, so Wednesday, thoughts on the third day. I got my uh, Campbell's coffee, sponsored by uh, Michelle Krauss. So shout out Michelle, thank you very much. Today's uh, the celebration, the feast of uh, Saints Cosmos and Damien, who are two very early church martyrs. But the gospel passage we have today is where Jesus really sends his 12 apostles out on mission. But what's the first thing he does? It says the first line of the gospel is, Jesus summoned the 12 to himself, right? Gave them authority, then sent them out. That's what happens in discipleship, you see. We're taken to him first, right? There's two movements, we're taken to him, and then we're sent out. No one encounters Jesus ever in the gospels and is left unchanged or is not sent on some kind of mission after encountering him, unless of course they're rejected. Now, with that in mind, this coming Sunday, we've got a very strong gospel passage. It's kind of divided up into two parts. In the second part, Jesus is really admonishing the problem of sin, which exists in all of us. And as he's going through this, he talks a little bit about, towards the end, with an analogy, kind of about dismemberment. He says in this analogy, if your leg or your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. If my eye is causing you to sin, it tells us in the gospel passage, pluck it out. Now, these are gruesome images, but Jesus is illustrating something. It tells us that the cost of discipleship, the cost of following Jesus, means looking within ourselves, looking at ourselves, and seeing, is there anything in me that is contrary or holding me back from following Christ? Well, let's look at it as a school for a second. Is there anything in our school that we need to cut off or cut out? There can be no more passive aggression. There can be no more gossip. I'm gonna cut those off, right, as, as, the, um, as the gospel tells us this weekend. Tolerance is not a virtue. To find something within ourselves that's contrary to being the disciples we're called to be, that's contrary to the mission of what it is to be a Christian, and also the mission of our school, by extension of that, must be cut out. It must be done away with. So that's what I'd offer you, is really just a moment where we can take, in these next couple of days coming up to that gospel of the weekend, preparing our hearts by asking that question, what is there, is there anything where I need to somehow cut it off, cut it out? It could even be unforgiveness. Is there an area within me where I just cannot forgive this person or cannot get over it? And it's causing me to sin because I'm harboring this unforgiveness. Allow ourselves to be reconciled. We're not a people who are stagnant, but rather as the people of God, we're constantly pruned, we're constantly made sharper as swords in the hand of our Lord to go forth and to bring that word to others. It's great to be back at school. Obviously last week I was at that convocation in New Orleans. The week before that I was in the UK. And the week before that, I was on an airplane all day. So it's great to be back in the office. It's great to be back at school. It's great to be back in the parish in general with everyone um, and to be back here with you as your priest. God bless.